If you own a PC, you've probably hit these three keys a million times. Control, Alt, Delete. Almost instantly, unresponsive Windows computers let you kill specific apps that could be causing a problem. Then there's Command Option Escape if you're a Mac loyalist. And there's Control X, Control P, Control C, what have you. But have you ever wondered why you have to perform awkward finger gymnastics to get it to work rather than just hitting one key? I sure have. And who came up with these seemingly random key combos anyway? I asked around and found out they're not as random as you think. I spoke with Apple, Microsoft, and IBM, and the information I gathered led me to one guy, David Bradley, a retired PC engineer. He didn't invent keyboard shortcuts. Cut, copy, and paste were dreamed up in the 1970s at Xerox. He did, however, come up with one of the most well-known three-finger combos while working at IBM. Control, Alt, Delete. It took David about five minutes to come up with a shortcut. And back then, it really wasn't a big deal. It was just part of the job. We didn't spend much more time thinking about choosing those keys than I have spent explaining it to you. But it turned out Control-Alt-Delete became a major and lasting contribution to the world of personal computing. After the shortcut caught on in IBM's PC lab, it spread to other internal teams and eventually made it onto the original IBM PC from 1981. That bulky grayish box and keyboard introduced personal computers and three-finger shortcuts to the masses. So what about all those other keystroke combinations? The origin stories are usually the same. Shortcuts either start with a problem that needs to be solved or a function that needs to be more quickly accessible. Typically someone or a group of people comes up with a way of doing it without triggering other functions. And then those solutions make their way onto keyboards and computer programs that we all use. Microsoft told me that in some cases, some shortcuts that are rarely used evolve over time to become something that people can use more seamlessly. In the beginning, one person might have come up with a new keystroke. However, nowadays, it can take a whole team of designers, hardware and software engineers, and program managers to come up with one new command. Companies want to adopt new ones that are collectively easy to remember and make sense with existing keyboard layouts. I learned that they make keystrokes easier to perform if they think it'll be used more often. So zooming in and out of a page shouldn't require much finger maneuvering. However, launching command centers might. Also, most people don't want a keyboard with a thousand buttons you rarely use. So keystrokes allow you to make use of what you already have. The proof that they work is that we have computers nowadays with touch screens and mice and trackpads, even voice yet we can still use the shortcuts like Control-Alt-Delete every day. If you're feeling really creative, Mac and Windows computers let you create your own shortcuts. But before you do that, hit this little button to see more videos like this. I'd also love to know what you want to know more about, so let me know in the comments and I might just answer it in my next video.